All right, let's do another game video. It's been a while since I've done one, but I'm back. <laughs> All right, starting off, we have the Tetris DS, which is amazing because I freaking love Tetris, as I'm pretty sure I mentioned in my one of my Super Nintendo videos. Next, we have Cooking Mama. I mean, really, who doesn't have this title for the DS? It's just something to play when you're, you know, don't really need to concentrate that much. Um, it, it can get a little bit hard, and sometimes the directions aren't really clear, but it's still fun. I also have Cooking Mama 2 Dinner with Friends, but unfortunately I do not have a case for it, so... Next we have Super Scribble Knots. Um, ever since the first Scribble Knots came out, I've been interested in getting this game, so now I'm happy I finally have it. Woo! Next we have the legendary Starfy. This is the only Starfy title that we got in the United States. There's like uh, a lot of Starfy titles in Japan. Um, probably as many as uh, this guy here has. Kirby. Well, actually, not as many, but... Kirby is another popular mainstay in the Nintendo universe, and this is the Kirby Superstar Ultra. I had to get this, even though I have Kirby Superstar on the Super Nintendo. Love those games. <laughs> Next we have Super Princess Peach. I actually got this pretty late in the game because uh, a roommate of mine actually had this game when I was living with them, so I, I used to play this game all the time, so I finally uh, got my own copy. It was a gift, and I love it. I love Super Princess Peach. I remember for a while some feminists were flapping about it being sexist because she uses her emotions. Like, well, you know what? Everything in that game uses their emotions, including Bowser, so if you're going to complain about something being sexist, how about playing the game first? Next we have Mario & Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story. Um, I've played uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, but I have not played Partners in Time. And the reason why I don't have Partners in Time and had this one instead is because at my local GameStop, Partners in Time was $40, while this one was 25 So I'm like, well, I'm broke, so... <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get Partners in Time. People have been telling me how awesome that game is, and I really would like to play it. Next, we have the Sonic Classic Collection, which has four games in one. So, Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Sonic and Knuckles. You can also play Sonic 3 and Knuckles, so... That's awesome. I love that. I, I always pop this in, and um, if I want to beat... Final F or so oh, goodness gracious, I'm staring at the Final Fantasy box. Uh, beat Sonic 1. <laughs> I love Sonic 1. That's the one that I can beat without any sort of issue. Get all the Chaos Emeralds and everything. I'm in my 20s and I still can't um, do the special stages in Sonic 3. I can't explain it. I, I don't know. I run into the red ball every time. Next we have Sonic Adventure Rush goodness. Uh, the Rush series and the Adventure series come together in Sonic Adventure Rush. There's like another Sonic Rush adventure, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to stick with this one. I can't play this one as much as I would like because it makes me extremely dizzy. A lot of the newer Sonic games make me dizzy, give me like extreme vertigo, and I don't know what causes it. But, you know, I'm, I'm who they made those warnings for. <laughs> at the beginning of the games. And we have Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood, which I liked it. Um, it didn't really get received well with the masses, but I enjoyed this game immensely. And it's made by Bioware. Bioware, they, they are responsible for really hit titles such as, uh, you know, like Knights of the Old Republic, you know, the Star Wars game. Um, Mass Effect and Dragon Age, which are all amazing. If you haven't played those titles, please check them out. In fact, it was because Bioware had a hand in it, that's that's why I had to get this game. So, like I said, I had fun with it. Next, we have Final Fantasy 3, which is uh, the first time we've seen 
um, Final Fantasy 3 legitly in the United States. We did not get the, what do you call it, version on the Famicom. And then when, um, when they kept on re releasing those older Final Fantasy titles on the PlayStation, they decided to give us Chrono Trigger instead, which I, I can't complain too much because I freaking love Chrono Trigger, but I don't know. It's called Final Fantasy Chronicles. I would have liked to have Final Fantasy 3. I'm still never going to forgive them for that. <laughs> Next we have Final Fantasy 4. I love Final Fantasy 4. At first I was put off by the little cutesy, you know, sprites that they use. But it, they grew on me after a while. I mean, it's still too cutesy for the subject matter. I mean, if they were going to give any game the little cutesy, tiny, you know, SD looking sprites, it should have been Final Fantasy V, but for some reason they're dragging their feet with uh, a re-release of Final Fantasy V and VI. And I think, I think they're stopping at four is because they don't want to get too close to 7 because people have been bothering them about a 7 redo. Uh, you would think if they released all these prequels and uh, whatever. I, I can rant about Final Fantasy all day so let's get ball rolling. Next we have Dragon Ball Origins. I picked this up at a Walmart for like nine dollars and I'm so glad that I did. Uh, it says in the beginning pretty much Dragon Ball Origins Pretty much takes you through the beginning of Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. You play as Goku, and it's an adventure RPG type game. Not much, not really much to say about that. Next, we have Dragon Quest Nine. Um, we actually have two copies of this game, so I'm only going to show you the case for one. <laughs> Dragon Quest Nine. Sentinel of the Starry, Sk Starry Skies is my first Dragon Quest, well not my first, but uh, 8 was the first one that I played and I loved it, so we had to get 9. 9 has such, it's so much fun, because there's so much puns in it, and I, I'm a very punny person, I love puns, so yeah, you start off as an angel. But yeah, check this game out. Um, it it has really cool multi multiplayer capabilities, and uh, you know, so if you if you have friends that have the game, then that's you know definitely something you guys can all play together. And oh, I mentioned this before, Chrono Trigger. Yes, I do have Chrono Trigger for the PlayStation, and I do. Well, not anymore, but in my youth I had uh, a copy for the Super Nintendo. So this is my third time owning Chrono Trigger. Thank you, GameStop, for that lovely sticker there. Anyways, yeah, the RPG of the Ages returns. I love Chrono Trigger. could talk about this all day, too, but I won't. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of part one of uh, the DS games. I'll be, I'll be back with part two. If I don't merge these into one video, meh, whatever. <laughs>